tested. The Hyundai Kona N is a 276 HP grip monster. Next in the line of hot up Hyundai N branded performance vehicles we've tested is the new 2022 Kona N, which sits above the less sporty N line in the lineup. Equipped with GoFast hardware from the excellent 2022 Elantra N compact sedan, the small SUV takes the torch from the compelling but now dead Veloster N hatchback. But is a crossover really an alternative to a sport compact? How quick is the 2022 Kona N? The Kona N traveled from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds and through the quarter mile in 13.9 seconds at 101.1 miles per hour. It does this with the same 2.0-liter turbocharged inline four that's in the 2022 Elantra N, which produces 276 horsepower and 289 lb-ft of torque. It also comes with an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission and electronic limited-slip differential like the Elantra N, although the sedan offers a standard 6-speed manual, with no such option available for the Kona N. In both measures, the Elantra NDCT was roughly 0.2 second quicker, though it's also lighter than our Kona N, if by only 30 pounds. Next in the line of hot-up Hyundai N-branded performance vehicles we've tested is the new 2022 Kona N, which sits above the less sporty N line in the lineup. Equipped with GoFast hardware from the excellent 2022 Elantra N compact sedan, the small SUV takes the torch from the compelling but now dead Veloster N hatchback. But is a crossover really an alternative to a sport compact? How quick is the 2022 Kona N? The Kona N traveled from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds and through the quarter mile in 13.9 seconds at 101.1 miles per hour. It does this with the same 2.0 liter turbocharged inline four that's in the 2022 Elantra N, which produces 276 horsepower and 289 lb-ft of torque. It also comes with an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission and electronic limited-slip differential like the Elantra N, although the sedan offers a standard 6-speed manual, with no such option available for the Kona N. In both measures, the Elantra NDCT was roughly 0.2 second quicker, though it's also lighter than our Kona N, if by only 30 pounds. How does it handle? While we love its fleetness, the Kona N is even more fun when you're working the steering wheel, it definitely punches above its class. Credit the standard adaptive dampers, a multi-link rear suspension in place of other FWD Kona's torsion beams, and a set of Midi Pirelli P0235-40 or 19 summer tires. Around town, there can be a little head toss with the suspension in its firmer sport mode, but the crossover is otherwise perfectly poised. Hitting our local canyon road, we were continually amazed by the grip levels. No matter how much we turned the steering wheel or otherwise tried to induce slip, it just never gave up traction. The Kona N simply sticks and goes no matter how hard you try to break its resolve. It's unflappable. Skid pad testing revealed 0.94G of lateral grip, which is quite good for the segment, and in the figure 8 where we test transitional behavior between braking, cornering, and acceleration, the Kona N rang in at 25.1 seconds at an average of 73 centimos. Those numbers absolutely obliterate mainstream FWD crossovers, as you'd expect. Testing comparisons cherry-picked among sport compacts, the Elantra N sedan's results of 0.97G-24.9 seconds at 0.75G, or even the previous generation Civic Type R, which sets the pace with a 1.01 G skid pad average and a figure rate of 24.3 seconds at 0.79 G, seem to be more the Kona N speed than any SUVs. Steering and stopping. The steering in the Kona N feels quicker than the lesser N line, and it has good weight and feedback, but its fatter tires make for a wider turning circle. Our preferred setting for the steering was normal, though, in max attack mode, we used the custom setting and cranked everything else up to Sport Plus when attacking a back road. The Kona N's braking is its only dynamic quality that might keep you on your toes. The brakes are strong, with no discernible fade after repeated stops, but the rear end can tend to walk out a bit under hard braking, and no staffer enjoyed the non-progressive feel of the firm pedal, initial bite is good but the lack of linearity can make it more difficult to know how much brake to apply. It shouldn't come as a shock that the rowdiest Kona is also the least efficient, 
and it also trails lighter and more aerodynamically efficient sport compact cars. The EPA pegs Kona in fuel economy at 2027 MPG city slash highway. In comparison, the old Civic Typer gets 2228 MPG, the Elantra NDCT 2030s, and the Elantra N Manual 2231s. Living with the 2022 Kona N. For a brief moment when we first drove off in the Kona N, we flashed back to the mid-2000s and the Mitsubishi Lancer Revolution 8. Both can be considered big performers for their segments, to be sure, but the memory was triggered more by the combination of big-time ability with an abundance of cheap-looking interior plastics. We get it, the Kona N starts life as an affordable small SUV, but a little dress-up would have gone a long way. As for space, the Kona N serves up 19.2 cubic feet of cargo room behind the rear seats and 45.8 cubes with those seats folded. Those volumes trail most of the segment and compete best with the Mini Countryman's 17.2 and 47.4 cubic foot figures. Even the Civic Type R can hold 6.5 cubic feet more stuff behind the back seat. Some of what could have gone to cargo seems to have been allotted to people, though, and the Kona N is reasonably roomy in terms of both headroom and legroom. The Kona N's leather and suede-covered seats are a tad on the stiff side, but hold occupants in place well. Upper Kona trims like the N also get a standard 10.3-inch central touchscreen and wireless device charging, but wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are available only on the lower three Konas, not here. Adaptive cruise control and rear parking sensors are not included in the Kona N's active safety bundle, but blind spot and rear cross-traffic monitoring, automatic emergency braking, adaptive high beams, and a lane-keeping system are. Additional standard features include roof rails, aluminum sport pedals, leather for the shift boot and steering wheel, and N logos splashed all around. Any vehicle with these capabilities will exact a premium. Our 2022 Kona N wore a base sticker price of $35,495, which is a chunk, considering its size and class. Compared to hot hatches and sport compacts, the Kona N is more expensive to start than are the GTIS, $31,775, and Elantra N, $34,745 both with the twin-clutch automatic. We don't yet know what the 2023 Civic Typer will cost, but the 2021 started at $38,910. It could be hard to spring for the Kona if the new Type R is only four grand or so pricier. Who's the 2022 Kona N4? So, then, the Kona N is probably best suited to the narrow segment of shoppers who want to sit a bit higher, who specifically need or want a small SUV, and who have a penchant for performance. For those folks, there's no need to consider anything else, the Kona N is a riotous hot hatch in crossover clothing. It's practical and basically comfortable enough to drive every day, and it nails the fun formula with its power, quickness, and agility. Finally, it further cements Hyundai's N Group as among the industry's best and most creative performance divisions. It's up to you if you consider it to be a hot hatch. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.